Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Hey, dude. Why didn't you tell me you guys were gonna kick so much ass? Can I get your autographs? <laughs> Guessing we're famous now. With these babies, you can send intruders flying. I guarantee this is the only home protection you'll ever need. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh... An explosive, huge stuffed animal. And another one. Okay. Only a few left. Get yours while you can. There you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good, and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. Okay. The Cuneo Coliseum is the venue for tradition arena battles that take place day and night. When you want to fight a battle, head to the basement and talk to the staff. Items cannot be used during battle, but HP and MP are slightly restored after each fight. Items cannot be stolen from your opponents. Alright. I mean, I guess that is a good leveling system, if nothing else. Okay, guess there's no one else to really talk to. Hello, everybody. Guess I'm, I'm famous now. Well, we're heading to Madam M. There we go. Time to get Earth her dress. Isn't it? You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud? Right? Cloud the Merc. <laughs> well, that's what you call yourself, I'm told. But what have you actually done for the people of Sector 5, hmm? There's this little thing called karma. How a person treats others dictates how they themselves should be treated. And believe me, I'll get you the dress that you earned. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? Sure. All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. <laughs> you look like you haven't experienced the best of what this town has to offer. That really won't do. Not interested. <laughs> Then maybe you can show the town what you have to offer instead. Which is to say, why don't you try putting those finely honed mercenary skills of yours to good use here in Wall Market? I have a few little requests that you might be able to help out with. <laughs> I gave that hand extra special treatment. Now get out there and show me what you can do with it. <laughs> and that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress! The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. Alright. 
guessing I'm heading out. I don't really have a mission though, do I? Am I just supposed to go back in here? Or should I do some of the side quests? I haven't really done any of them, so I guess I could at least try. At least do one here, because uh, of the fact of making it a bit realistic that I have to wait for them to get done. The angel of the slum strikes again. Hi there. Madam M told me about a merc. Got you? Maybe yeah. you can help us sort this out. Some criminals have stolen a shipment of donations bound for the Leaf House. The fiends. The culprit is none other than the notorious angel of the slums. People worship her as some kind of folk here, but there's no denying she's the one that done did it. I mean, look at this calling card. The Garden Angle 3? Well, they must have meant to write Guardian Angel. Oh, come on, Garden Angle. Listen to me. I guarantee this is not the work of the Angel. I saw it with my own eyes. Three shady-looking types wandering around, scouting their mark, I bet. Well, if you're so sure, then bring him here. Prove to me this wasn't the work of your beloved guardian angel. You heard the man, Merc. I've got to find those thieves to clear the angel's name, and I need your help to do it. She would never, ever do anything to harm the less fortunate. Find the three I saw and bring them here to me. They ran off toward the old expressway on the other side of Evergreen Park. All right. Well, I mean, this is a way for me to kill time while um, he's getting air dressed, right? And besides, it is a mission that was given by Meta Man, more or less. Okay, so it is this way, right? Yes. <laughs> the Garden Angel strikes again, suckers. <laughs> you again. With one fake card. Too easy. Not to be you, Miss Angel. Hey, it's you. What the hell are you doing coming after us? Shit! Play dead! Play dead! Shut up! It's too late for that! Bring it! We're ready for you this time! Wakey wakey! Okay. Time to shine! <laughs> Check out this brick shit house! We picked him up at the Coliseum! Gonna pay you back double, nah, quadruple for what you've done to us! What's a druple? What are we doing? Shut up! We're kicking Blondie's ass for being an ass! Here we go. Wow. That's it. That's it. You're done. It's on now. Yeah. 
Wow. Uh. All good. Not looking good. Still in it. Going all out. Let's finish this. There we go. You're coming with me. All right, nice. I'm guessing uh, I'm just gonna. Yeah. Oh man, you're real stupid. We're the garden angels. Get it right. Shut your trap, moron. Huh. You don't honestly think that the beloved angel of the slums could be any of these three idiots, do you? Nah, I recognize the mask. These guys are just small-time crooks who've been pestering folks around here for a minute. Should have listened to you earlier. Sorry about this. Well, you should be sorry. I'll consider us square. Once you've taught these boys a lesson. Deal. All right, get moving. Hey, watch it! Not so rough, you lummox. Yeah, you lummox, you lummox. So what about the donations? Do you need help taking them to the leaf house? Kind of you to offer. But I can manage on my own. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Better even. It's the angel of the slums! She took the darn stuff! He's gonna be pissed! Well, I'll be seeing you. <laughs> Thanks to you, we can put this mess behind us. I'm grateful. Alright, I was one of the missions. Guardian angel of the slums. Radiant Defender of the Downtrodden? Huh. Wonder if I'm an accomplice. Alright, cool. Well, there's another one burning things. I guess I could uh, get on with that too. Let's see. There we go. Cloud, been waiting for you to show up. Thanks for coming, and welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Want to try taking on one of our guys? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Look at him! He's a scrawny little thing. I could snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, sure. You up for a round? Sure, why not? Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old terpsichore left out in the sun. You got no idea what you're getting into, little man. <sighs> All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way a squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. No way I'm letting you win. Okay, the basic rules four more squats than your opponent. In the allotted time to win. In the event of a tie, you will lose. Follow the on-screen guidance and press the corresponding button at the right moment to perform squats. <laughs> As you proceed, uh, the guard will gradually fade from view, and you will have to watch Cloud's movement to determine when to press the appropriate button. Oh, damn! 
which each successful squad you will your pace will increase along with the speed which wow you will have to respond however acting too slow or too quick will cause you to stumble when competing against more skilled opponents cloud will grow more fatigued and the chance that he might get caught in a sticky point will increase. When this happens, you must press the corresponding button repeatedly until the build build poorly timed button pressing will build more fatigue than perfect ones. Okay, uh, wow. Your form's looking good. I knew you could do it. That's how it's done. You have better. You can do better than that. You got this. Come on. I knew you could do it. Not bad at all. That's how it's done. Now don't forget to breathe. Your form's looking good. I knew you could do it. Not bad at all. Come on, one more rest. That's a tie. Okay, not. I was defeated apparently. That was awful. Time, but I know you'll get them next time. <laughs> Didn't I say I destroy you, little man? If you want a rematch, you better put some muscle on those chicken legs first. Thought I saw something in you. Well, if you ever feel like swinging by again, I'm sure someone here will be up for another round or two of squatting. Uh, yeah, this was awful. That was like one of the worst mini games I done. I thought it would be like a real mission, but uh, it was more like a mini game, and I did not appreciate it. Just gonna return over here. There. Oh, Clara. Johnny. Finally. Uh, uh, Tifa. She. Uh, I. Tifa. She, she's. Uh, I don't. Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's. Uh, Tifa's gonna be. I just. I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too. Hey, Cloud. Bro. I can call you bro, right? Nope. Uh, nope. Just want to say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. Ah. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said. The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Beep, beep, whoosh, whoosh, you know? I really wish shut up, just Johnny. Like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro. Do you have any advice for a smart stand-up guy like me? <sighs> well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! All right. All 
at our dudes. You again? Got a letter of approval right here. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. <laughs> Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. All right. And now I guess I can go and get Aerith. if you get picked or not anyway. Yeah, but still... You put a lot of work into this. Did you put a lot of work into this? Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. <sighs> I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Okay. Anyways, I think this is a good spot to end off this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye!